Clouds by Murphy Ferguson Delano National Geographic Kids Look up! Clouds! They float in the sky above lakes and seas, gracefully billowing in the breeze. Clouds dapple the sky above country lanes and city streets. They drift over and under high mountain peaks. When can you see clouds? Almost every day. You can see them in the morning and in the afternoon. You can see them at sunrise and sunset, glowing golden pink or rosy, red, purple, orange, or blue. Peekaboo! You can even see clouds at night playing hide and seek with the moon and stars. Cloud Collection What are clouds made of? Water They're made of millions of very tiny water droplets or bits of frozen water called ice crystals that flow together in the sky. Raindrops are made of water droplets. Have you ever tried catching raindrops on your tongue? The long white trail left behind by a jet is also a kind of cloud. It's called a cone trail. Clouds come in many different sizes and shapes. Here are the three main kinds. Serious clouds look like wispy white brush strokes. Strapless clouds look like fuzzy gray blankets stretched across the sky. Cumulus clouds look like fluffy balls of cotton. Drip, drop. Clouds bring the rain that all plants and animals need to live. Flowers and frogs, trees and tigers all need rain. Rain happens when the water droplets in a cloud bump into each other and stick together. When they become too heavy to flow in the sky, they fall down to earth as raindrops. When it's cold enough, clouds can bring snow. Snow starts out as ice crystal in a cloud. As the crystal falls through the sky, they stick together and make snowflakes. One kind of cloud piles up high in the sky, towering like a giant castle. These clouds face storms with pouring rain, wild winds, lightning, and thunder. Flash, crash, boom. These are cumulonimbus clouds, also called thunderheads. Can you say cumulonimbus? Q U U N O N I M B U S. If you're an eagle, you could fly to a cloud and feel wetness on your feathers. But you don't have to fly to feel a cloud. You can walk through one kind. It's called fog. Fog can slow over land or water. Cool clouds. Whether you're on the ground looking up at clouds or in an airplane looking down at them, clouds are fascinating to watch. Here's some mysterious looking clouds from above the world. These bubble shaped clouds sometimes hang from storm clouds. Saucer shaped clouds like this one usually form near our feet. Why can't we see them at the top of this mountain? What colors do you see in this cloud? The rainbow color patch in this cloud is called an iridescence. Sometimes light passing through clouds form a glowing circle around the moon called a moon dog. The morning glory is an enormous roll light cloud that only forms over Australia. When high winds blow, clouds sweep swiftly through the sky, changing shape as they go. 
Other times, clouds seem as still as statues. But if you keep looking, you see them change shapes. Clouds are always moving and changing. If you could look at Earth from space, you'll see that there are always clouds floating somewhere over our planet. During the day, clouds block the sun's heat, helping Earth stay cool. At night, clouds act like a blanket, helping Earth stay warm. Thanks, clouds! Clouds bring us the rain we need to live. They fill the sky and pause with beauty. How boring the sky will be without them. Be a cloud watcher. Anyone can be a cloud watcher. All you have to do is to look up. Eye on your back, get comfortable, and gaze at the sky. Be patient. Take the time to read watch. Look for big clouds, little clouds, fat clouds, and skinny clouds. Notice if clouds are moving fast or slow. Never look directly at the sun. It can hurt your eyes. Can you draw some of the cloud shapes you see? What do you see? If you watch clouds closely, you can see all kinds of things in them. What shapes do you see in these cloud pictures? Clouds by Marfin Ferguson Delano by National Geographic Kids.